Hi, I'm uh, Julien Vermeau. Hi, I'm Jackie Gatz. My lab is particularly interested in understanding early development of the cardiovasculature and the role of mechanical forces during this process. Angiogenesis is the process by which you generate new blood vessels out of already existing vessels. And during that period, blood flow is already active. So far, it is unclear how endothelial cells sense those mechanical forces and how they utilize this information to control angiogenesis. So our main hypothesis was that if blood flow is actually able to affect vasculature formation, so the endothelium, uh, which makes up those blood vessels, should be able to detect those mechanical forces and transduce this signal. So the main question that we, that we asked was, how do the endothelial cells actually detect those mechanical forces? In vitro, in cell culture models, it had been shown already that primary cilia are capable of doing this job and actually uh, detect those mechanical forces and transduce the, general, the signal that they generate. So we decided to use the zebrafish model uh, as an intact living organism to see if actually primary cilia in the early vasculature could actually detect those mechanical forces and uh, change their behavior accordingly. To determine whether endothelial cells were ciliated, we imaged within the blood vessels of embryos 28 hours after fertilization. Using a transgenic zebrafish line in which the cilial protein ARL13B is tagged with GFP, we saw cilia extending into the vessel lumen and deflecting in response to flow. Interestingly, when we looked in mutants lacking blood flow, these cilia failed to deflect. Since cilia are known mechanodetectors, we wondered whether this bending in response to the blood flow may be a mechanism through which endothelial cells can sense flow. So the next question that we asked was, uh, what is actually the 3D ultrastructure of those endothelial cilia in vivo? And what does this 3D ultrastructure tell us about the deformation process? So we therefore decided to develop, in collaboration with, uh, with Yannick Schwab, a correlative imaging approach which allows us to track the exact same cilia of interest in the zebrafish vasculature using two imaging modalities. One which is fast confocal imaging and the other one which is serial electron tomography. By identifying particular landmarks during confocal analysis of cilia within the vasculature, we were able to relocate the image cilia in the resin embedded sections. Then, using serial electron tomograms, we thereby were able to fully reconstruct one cilia of interest from the intracellular basal body to its most distal tip extending into the vessel lumen. Close analysis of the reconstructed cilia highlighted a canonical microtubule composition at the base of the cilia with nine regularly spaced microtubule triplets. Strikingly, when we analyzed the more distal regions of the cilia further away from the plasma membrane, we saw reduced numbers of microtubules, which we proposed could bestow a unique bending stiffness to these cilia. By applying hydrodynamic principles and elastic beam theory, uh, we found that uh, the bending stiffness of endothelial uh, cilia is lower uh, than that of cilia from kidney. This is possibly uh, due to the microtubular content of uh, endothelial cilia and uh, allows them to be more uh, deformable and therefore sensitive to small variations of flow. Indeed, we saw that cilia deflection increased with increasing flow and that this correlated with increased intracellular calcium levels. Furthermore, loss of flow, cilia, or the calcium channel PKD2 all led to reduced calcium influx. To confirm the importance of cilia as a flow detection mechanism important for angiogenesis, we performed time-lapse analysis of cell migration in the caudal vein plexus and saw it was reduced when flow and cilia were perturbed. This ultimately results in impaired remodeling of the caudal vein plexus, such that absence of flow, PKD2 or cilia all lead to a re drastic reduction in the number of vascular loops in this particular region. So in conclusion, our work allows us to identify primary cilia as an important mechanodetection mechanism in the early vasculature of the zebrafish embryo. Thanks for taking an interest in our study and we really hope you enjoy to read this paper. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to contact us. That would be a real pleasure.